and it says we're recording, but we're just having a conversation just now. Uh, what I, I sent you a, a quick cheat sheet of what we're going to talk about, just bullet bullet lists, so I can yeah, yes, yeah, so and not talking about. You can look at it if you want to, but it really helps me because I'm not like you. I'm not a a, a gifted public speaker. In fact, <laughs> I'm a hermit. <laughs> <laughs> Quite reclusive, um, but you know, this helps me uh, reach out to my passion. And there you go. But a dumb question that just popped into my mind. I mean, we were having this conversation uh, about your car, and I one of the things I didn't ask you is it did you buy it or, or did you build it? Uh, so I bought it. Um, yeah, I've always wanted one. So I, yeah, the market in the UK at the minute is. Yeah, I think it's bad for him. No one seems to be buying them, so the price is uh, yeah. dropping, and the selection out there, there's there's loads of them for sale. Um, and how long have you had it then? Uh, only had it about six months. Oh, okay. Wow. You, yeah, you yeah. Stuff done already. This is great. Yeah. So there was a lot of lot of work that needed doing straight away. Cause the mm -hmm. Yeah, when I first got it, the indicators didn't work, the the main beam didn't work, so I had to bodge some of that together mm -hmm. uh, to make it road legal. But yeah, there was wiring everywhere. Um, yeah, I didn't like all the incandescent bulbs at the back, so I wanted to go LED. Yeah. Uh, so that was that was the first job. Um, and the LED headlights as well? Uh, no, no, no. So I've kept them uh, just normal. Uh, yeah, yeah, incandescent bulbs. I, was, I wanted to find that out because uh, I've got uh, incandescent bulbs, and and as some of my um, the people I interview have pointed out, they said you got to upgrade at some particular point, otherwise you're just going to be driving with uh, two flames flickering in the wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I will do uh, eventually, but yeah. I have to. Yeah, all the indicators are LED. Oh yeah. Um, again, yeah, it's easier. Yeah, absolutely. Well, why don't I just uh, do the intro and yeah. uh, go from there? How's that? No, that's fine. Well, greetings, world, and greetings, Seven Spot. I'm uh, broadcasting here today from miserable and cold Vancouver, Canada, and it's just about 10 a.m. in the morning, and I'm speaking to Paul in the UK. Paul, what's the weather like there today? And by the way, Thank you for being with us. And how are you doing? No, oh, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, weather's, yeah, we're in winter now, so weather isn't brilliant. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was all right a couple of days ago, but it's just been overcast today. Yeah. Well, that's better than the uh, torrential downfall that we're experiencing. Uh, again, thanks for being here. Um, do you mind if I ask about your car? Now that you're into, well, let's just start it this way. We discussed previously in our messenger chat um, Chris Hollier's Avon Rescue Series and uh, the rest, restoration challenges that kit uh, car owners might experience. And uh, you responded and said that you've got some experience with your own. So do you mind if I ask, uh, you've got a Tiger uh, kit car, do you not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the, the Tiger Cat. Uh, it's an old, older model. Uh, I believe it has been discontinued now. So parts... Uh, uh, yeah, hard to come by. Um, they, they were made, I think this one was made end of the 90s. Um, so it's, I mean, it's over 20 year old. And then the donor car, I think was that mid 80s car. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's a lot of tired stuff on it that, that does need replacing. Yeah, and that was the, leads to my next question and one that we just previously discussed. Uh, I built mine. Uh, did you build yours or did you buy it? No, no, I, I did want to build one, but I was saying that the market in the UK now, uh, you can pick them up relatively cheap, um, needing a bit of work, which which is what I wanted. Um, uh -huh. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't have the big real estate to to be mm -hmm. building a kit. You know, I'm in a little garage, so just doing the odd jobs on it and it is easy enough. But yeah, if it were anything major, yeah, I probably wouldn't have the, the room to do it. Yeah, and so you you are looking forward to the challenge of a, doing a bit of a resto, so that you can put your mechanical uh, skills to test. Um, do you mind if I tell uh, you? We talked about wiring because 
<laughs> I think I mentioned to you that wiring scares the heck out of me. And you responded, what kind of things have you found uh, with your wiring? Yeah, so the, like I said, because it's an old build, uh, and it's had a, I mean, three or four owners before me. I think yeah. everyone's had some sort of go at it. So the, the wiring was horrendous. Yeah. Um, if it's yeah, a proper, proper bird's nest. So yeah. I just ripped it all out. Um, yeah, so that's that's how it was uh, when, I, when I first got it. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, little lad loves it. Take him out on it. But he doesn't like going over about 40 mile an hour. Oh, yeah. What engine is in that? Hey, it's the Pinto uh, engine. Yeah, yeah. I think next winter I'm considering putting a Duratec in. Okay. Uh, yeah, keep keep the updating, modernizing going. Mm -hmm. And it was obviously blue when you you purchased it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, dark blue. Yeah, the 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 back end was something I didn't like. I mean, too many lights and reflectors, and yeah, I, I didn't like the wheel um, the the way it was. So that was one of the first jobs I wanted to tackle. Yeah, and this is what it looks like now. I I yeah. have I just had a chat with you offline about this. What a gorgeous uh, paint job, but it's not. It's no, no, yeah, it's a wrap. And I uh, I know of um, lots of people in Vancouver who have wrapped cars, but typically in Vancouver, at least in, in, to my knowledge, there's a lot of people who have it uh, done professionally. Uh, but you you took this on yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done I've done one of my other cars. Um... I've got a, a vinyl cutter, so cut all, cut all the stickers myself, um, and then yeah, just wrapped it over over a matter of a couple of months. Yeah, it looks absolutely amazing. I love it. And one of the upgrades you did, you, you mentioned to me, uh, is uh, you did s some work with your carburetors. What, what yeah, it? so so it, it had a... Um, uh, so it had a twin carb on. Uh, mm -hmm. I was getting issues with um, icing. Never heard of it before till till it started happening, and the the engine was cutting out. Um, so I went to twin forty fives. Yeah. Um, perfect, really good. But when I started decided when I decided that I wanted to rewire the car, I thought, well, if I'm rewiring it, I might as well go full EFI. Uh, so I changed it all again. Cool. And what's that? That is <laughs> that is all the wiring that was took out that was wasn't doing anything. Um, so yeah, again, just simplifying it all, and that was just a big pile of wiring that wasn't doing very much. So this is is this including the ECU or or is this uh, just uh, no? So that is mainly the lights. Um, it, it had all the old old dials in. Uh, so yeah, there was a lot of lot of wires to individual bulbs all over the place yeah and yeah. you know wiring scares the death out of me I, I my my car is a bike engine and my wiring loom is essentially uh, for the most part the same uh, wiring loom that was on the bike and I've managed to make it uh, so that it it fits generally speaking um, right under the dash and it's not a big bird's nest or anything like that but how was it for you was it a, a big nest of uh, of a mistake under your under your uh, scuttle oh it, yeah it was horrendous um it, it was there was bare wires hanging down oh my um so yeah i just luckily i found the an old build manual so i could work out what wire were what and then everything just got ripped out um stripped all the harness everything that i didn't want uh, got chucked in a pile. Yeah, and you mentioned LED lights. That's kind of what you've been upgrading to. Yeah, so the the rear end uh, pretty much did straight away because the indicators weren't working. Um, and again, all the fasteners were that hold the lights on. They were all rotting away. Oh, so God. yeah, they, it all it all had to go. Um, I so... think you got a pretty good price for your kit. <laughs> Yeah. By the sounds of it. So this is the upgrade. And that's yeah, so that's what it's upgraded to. So that is um it's a Duratec 
uh, white harness. Okay. Um, so because it's going EFI, it, it, it made sense. So that come with the uh, ECU that I'm using. Okay. Um, it, it's just sourcing the correct, um, correct sensors that fit in the engine that then can fit onto the the wire loom, or, or it's just change, it's just changing a couple of plugs, um, which is easy enough. It's nice when it's not a big uh, nest. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm just laying out where where the, the stuff's gonna go. Yeah, um, so we've got yeah. So the the ECU, um, uh, and then a couple of products from uh, Blinkstop. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so the the middle one is for the indicators that has an automatic stop, um, and it allows you to put it on the small um, uh, switches. So eventually, it will go all, all on the steering wheel. Yeah, I've got um, something rather similar to that that I've added to, to you know mine's bike. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> something like yeah, that. and then the the one on the right is a it's a CAN bus system. Uh, oh yeah. Again, so it makes it all easier. A yeah. couple of switches in, and then some wires out. Cool. And what's happening there? Did you have to? Did you upgrade the uh, tank? Yeah, yeah. So the the tank again, tired old thing. Um, just had two two inlets out, an inlet and an outlet. Um, so I had a tank made. Uh, so it's got um, a, a pump inside the tank. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it, it's to full race spec. So it's all baffled and got form. Uh, okay. breather roll over everything um, and so you've got a separate or you this is an, a new uh, gas pump as well it's not the old system no 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 everything yeah everything completely new um the the tank were made to the same size so it, it just squeezes in and out of the, of the top luckily so that was easy enough that is so cool uh, and the thing I, i'm going to ask next is uh, do you have a background in doing electrics, or is this something that comes naturally to you? No, no, it's just always been in a, a, a passion. Um, yeah, never any training or anything like that. Wow, because the reason I asked in, the, in our chats that we had on Messenger about this, there are a lot of people who would be terrified, and I'm one of them, um, you know, who would be, uh, I wouldn't know where to start to, to re- uh, reconfigure my complete electrical harness but um uh but yeah i think a bit of it is cheating having a one pre-made um so it's, it's mainly the lights that, that i need to tackle um but the, the can bus system uh you've also got to run um their own uh, relays as well yeah uh, so it's just figuring out which relay does what and uh, do you yeah. do that reverse wiring wise? I mean, you test it out uh, on each individual circuit, and then it goes back. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm, I'm doing. Um, I was in, in the garage this afternoon. I uh, just started on on the lights. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So it's got all new connectors. Um, I mean, if the wiring's okay, I've kept it. Um, and yeah, just going to do each light, wire it back uh, with new better connectors as well. well let me just say uh, before i close this screen that that looks absolutely amazing i love it yeah i just wanted to minimize it so i got got rid of the wheel uh got rid of the eight lights i think that were on the back of it yeah yeah and just went to to led and you mentioned it, it's blue, so it matches the uh, color code that it was original, so you don't have to do any uh, fudging with your registration. Yeah, yeah. So it's blue. Uh, on the log block, it says blue. So so I think going for the Gulf livery was was probably the best thing to do. And it looks, as I said, smashing. I'm going to take that out so that we can have a, a nice little chat, because this is where we get personal a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what advice might you have for other uh, kit car owners who have maybe purchased a kit car that needs some electrical upgrade, um, do you, would you recommend it, take it off to a professional? Or if they wanted to do it themselves, what recommendation might you have with regard to that? Yes, I think that the main thing I was doing and probably took the most time up to now is the research, uh, looking at, at what 
what things are or what's available out there to make life easier. So the Canvas system, uh, I mean, ECU, if, if you're going EFI, carburetor would be a lot easier because that's even less wiring. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's doing, it's doing that research. Um, I went on a visit to um, MK Sports Cars. Uh, oh, yeah. they, had, they, they had an open day. Yeah, uh, I was was having a nausea of how how they've done uh, their electronics. Um, but yeah, they looking at one of the cars they were building. They use the the blink stop as well. Uh, so it's uh, it is that research and seeing what other people have done. Well, as I said, this is going to be a short and sweet one, but I, I really, really appreciate you joining us uh, uh, today to uh, give your experience with uh, taking on electrical problem. No, yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for having me on. Oh, my pleasure. And with that, I'm going to say uh, thank you for being with us, and we'll see you at 7 Spot. Mm -hmm.